Good morning. I want to show you guys my tablet crocheted bag. I love this. It's You can also use it for a grocery bag, a swim bag, whatever you want to use it bag. Very simple stitch. In the bottom I just have some acrylic yarn and I then I added the cotton yarn. Just This is an off-white. Kind of gave it a little different look. And if this is great. I what I usually do is I put an insert in this sometimes. So if I want to use it like a purse or whatever, just a simple uh, handle. If I can grab my handle, <laughs> just a simple chain handle. And so if I want to use it as a bag, I can just slip an insert in. If I want to use it for a swim bag or vegetable bag, say if I go to the grocery store, because you can make this in whatever color you like. I just grabbed this, but I like the white. I thought it was kind of elegant, and I use it for my laptop. So I'll put my laptop in here, and I, what I usually do is I kind of put my hand like this, because if I fall asleep or something when I'm listening to my laptop, I won't drop my laptop. And uh, I don't buy covers for my phones or laptops. I just make them, and uh, I don't know if that would be something I'd recommend, but I that's what I do. So anyway, this is... Uh, just a simple little bag this is a little bit bigger I put my earbuds in it which I usually have a supply of these I pick them up at the dollar store I've had nice ones expensive ones I've had all kinds but these work fine and if I lose these little pieces or whatever I usually have backups for a buck I could probably buy about 20 of them and have them forever right and uh, so I love this um, I've been reading through this book of signs by David Jeremiah, and I wanted to talk to you guys about something I saw in here. So I'm maybe necessarily not going to read a scripture today, but I will give you some nuggets for your personal study because my goal on my channel is not so that I just, you know, give you a little devotion or something, but so that you can, you know, sometimes you'll get a big lesson, sometimes you'll get little nuggets, different things, but this here was a question that I had, and I've been saved for 50 years. I searched the scriptures, had lots of questions, but David Jeremiah answered a question that I had because when all the stuff happened in Ukraine, um, a lot of Christians started looking into Ezekiel 38, and uh, this was an answered question that I had, and I'm going to go into some of the things ahead of time. So I've got this little piece of fabric I'll stick here for a bookmark. But uh, basically, Ezekiel 38 is an end-time war that some people were talking like they thought it was uh, right at the rapture and different things. But he kind of has it really nicely explained. Um, these are the countries, like... That are going to be surrounding Israel okay so first of all let's go this is the book of signs these are 31 undeniable prophecies that like Jesus is coming like we're living in that time okay so we first of all we have the nation of Israel which is what he talks about in the first half they had to become a nation in 1948 and that generation will not pass until the Lord's second coming which will be the rapture of the church and then there'll be the second coming. So you have to take off seven years. Meaning, if you're going to go in the rapture, it'll be seven years for the second coming. Okay, so these are the nations that are going to be involved in the Ezekiel 38 war. And this is important for you as the times we live. Magog is Russia. Meshach and Tubal Cain. Let's see if he says, um, some people believe that's Turkey, Persia is Iran, Ethiopia, this would be like your, uh, let's see, like modern Sudan, Libya, and Gomer, which could be Germany. I've also heard people say that was Turkey. Togemar, let's see, so that was, some people identify that with Turkey, but these are the, some of the nations, okay? Now, um, 
here's what they say is going to happen. The nations that are kind of surrounding Israel, some of those nations will surround Israel and then they will um, try to attack them. And uh, this is what he wrote. These are the nations that will form a coalition and march against Israel, setting the stage for the gigantic war, world war focused on the Holy Land through the northern armies of Russia and Turkey will lead the coalition. They will be joined by Iran from the east, Sudan and Libya from the south, and possibly Germany from the West in the form of a revived European coalition of nations. To darken the picture for Israel, Ezekiel added that the nations will have many people on its side. Okay, now here's the part that I wanted to see, like what's, how do we know this is us? How do we know this is the end times and us and all this, okay? And why does the rapture have to happen? You know, I was trying to make the connection between this war and why the rapture would have to happen, like, at that war, before that war, kind of thing. Well, the reason is, he said that, we'll go back to this little mark marker here. When Israel is at peace in the land, the prophet Daniel told us how this peace will come about. He, the Antichrist, shall confirm a covenant for a for, with many for one week according to Daniel 9 27 so when these nations attack they will find them at peace now the only they are they have not been at peace and and they always have people upset with Israel but here's what happens the Antichrist will make peace with them and then in the middle of it he'll break that covenant for seven years but if you have accepted Christ as your personal savior the bible teaches that there is a rapture the rapture is like it talks about it in thessalonians and different parts in the bible god will take those people will go up to heaven they'll see jesus in the clouds and they'll meet him in the clouds if they've accepted christ and they will avoid all the tribulation stuff because god has not appointed us to wrap we are like in the days of Noah and lot god took them out of the the wrath and that's what happens to the church there's a lot to this but the point i wanted to bring home today i mean this is like a really rich study and you're gonna have to study this yourself to get all the the information you're gonna have to look up ezekiel 38 people talking just google ezekiel 38 you're gonna get a bunch of people talking about it you can google what is the rapture you get a bunch of people talking about that but um so there you go <laughs> why this is such a big deal because the born-again christians will never see the antichrist and you can study out the antichrist the tribulation rapture and all that but we will never see the antichrist so looks like nations are lining up over there and the Bible predicts a right, like Russia rises up in the end times. And we saw how fast that all happened. And there's lots of other signs that are going on. This is why if you don't um, or haven't read this book, The Book of Signs, you can get it right at your library. At least that's where I got mine. And by David Jeremiah, read it for yourself. See what you think and go through this slowly learning so this is a great resource for you I also want to mention another resource that I've been really enjoying um, David David Guzik G-U-Z-I-K every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time he has a question and an answer time for all your Bible questions now, I know he said this coming week he has something special. He didn't tell us about what it is. But what I like about it is he's, a, is he's like a big name, and there's not a whole lot of people on there. So you can get your question in. So if you have difficult Bible questions, um, this is what he said he had special this time. He has somebody coming in special with him. So if, And he said, bring your difficult questions. So if you have difficult Bible questions, you can ask him. I mean, I've been saved for 50 years, and I've been enjoying it because I'm learning, and I am also have asked some questions, too. So if you have Bible questions, join in on that. It's a live stream, so you'll enjoy that. And uh, just all kinds of stuff. You'll, he's got a whole big playlist of the questions and answers, too. So.
So um, be a part of that. And also, too, study the South. Study the South for yourself. Um, I, if you don't read the Bible for yourself and just go to church once a week, I mean, you know, you want to become an expert in the Bible. So anyway, you, you know, you want to read the Bible two or three times a year if you can or listen to it. We don't follow the apps. You can just hear it. I mean, it only takes two weeks to read your entire Bible at third grade reading level. So, um, but anyway, you know, listen to it. Like, open the book, shut the book, open the book, shut the book. Because the Bible talks about deceptions coming in the last days. And it says, if it were possible, they would deceive even the very elect. So, you don't want to be in the dark. So, you know, we're kind of living in the days. Like, I, I related to when Jesus was born. You know, it's like, hey, a Messiah is going to be born in... Uh, in Bethlehem, you know, and this is going to happen. Like, Jesus fulfilled, like, 300 prophecies. There's a book by Josh McDowell. I can read this, too. You know, Evidence That Demands a Verdict. It's excellent. It talks about proves that Jesus is God. So, anyway, there's my thing. We'll never see the Antichrist. All these nations are lining up. So, the rapture has to come soon. And this, this resource is Dr. Jeremiah, the Book of Signs. Check out David Guzik, G-U-Z-I-K, on YouTube to answer all your Bible hard questions. And uh, you can ask him anything. Um, make a laptop um, holder. You can listen to the Word. You can listen to the Bible. Um, lots of Christian movies. You can watch A Thief in the Night. Uh, you, sometimes you can get it free on YouTube. You have to look that up. That's a good uh, movie about the tribulation and that type of thing. And uh, just... Dig in, learn, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. And so that's the big deal on Ezekiel 38, you know, that Jesus has to come really, really soon because uh, the Antichrist, if he signs a peace treaty in all this mess over there, uh, we won't be here for that if you have accepted Christ as your personal Savior. Okay, with that, dear Father, let's pray. If you have not accepted Christ, dear Jesus, Please forgive me for all my sins. Come into my heart and be my Savior. Draw me close to you and teach me, instruct me, and bring people into my life that will help me grow in your in your word and in your faith. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, guys, so remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.